Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Paulio Jr. and I am driving right now and as the title suggests uh, the question is which I've gotten which I've received from uh, many people in the past as far as uh, how much you know what's, what's a good tip or like what's a reasonable or average tip for uh, for at least what I've done, and, you know, an Amazon flex driver, and then driving for Lyft, and so forth, and then even driving for Uber for a little bit, and, um, and I think I'm going to answer it, um, it's, it's definitely going to be, it's, it's going to be a little subjective and so forth, but I will, uh, add some facts in here, so, uh, let's get the easy ones out of the way. Uh, Lyft and Uber, if you are driving, um, I know a lot of people take Lyft and Uber every day, and if you're going a pretty short distance, like a very short distance, at least tip a dollar. Always tip, no matter what. Um, I, under like, I understand that people are driving all, or taking Lyft all the time. So they're like, oh, I don't want to give out tips, you know, because it's just going to keep adding up. And the one thing that people that do that, that don't give out tips, they don't realize that um, all of their, because a lot of them are going to and from work, a lot of them, is that they don't realize that they can actually write off their, um, uh, the Lyft services for uh, tax purposes, um, just for getting, uh, for travel expenses. So... Uh, yeah, you can you can write them off as far as the people who are taking the uh, the Lyft and Ubers and so forth. But the minimum you tip a dollar. Those, those guys are are driving out. They're driving all day. A lot of them, not everybody, but they're driving. Um, they're out there for the majority of the day. So it, it's a little, um, you know. When you see your final price, and you might go, Ugh, I don't want to really add any more. <laughs> um, yeah, just put that into consideration. If you're doing a decent drive, and for me, a decent drive uh, for Lyft or Uber would be, uh, you know, 10 to 15, 10 to 15 minutes plus uh, minimum tip five bucks at the minimum. So, okay, Lyft and Uber are out of the way. So now we are going to uh, jump into Amazon Flex. Now Amazon Flex, you can currently, so as far as getting tipped for Whole Foods, so as a, as a driver, and now that I've kind of stepped back from Whole Foods, I mean just from Amazon Flex in general, and, not, and I haven't been going absolutely crazy with it and just do it, I mean I know that the obvious, you know, reason to work for them is to do it when you want to do it, but you get involved with it, and then you want to, you know, work all the time and so forth, and get as many hours as you can, but now that I have a little bit of separation from Whole Foods and, and you know, from Amazon Flex, um, I, I don't deliver packages anymore, that's just not for me personally anymore, but so as far as the tips... If you're driving for Whole Foods, if you're doing a Whole Foods delivery or the um, the Amazon Fresh deliveries, number one, never ex never expect a tip. That's probably and that that goes for Lyft and Uber and any driving uh, service in general. Like never expect it because if you expect it, you're just gonna be like, what the man? Come on! Like I just did all that and I just got the hourly rate, so. Um, now for the people who actually have asked, um, a lot of, uh, people that I've delivered to and so forth have asked what is a reasonable, you know, what's a, what's a general, um, you know, tip that somebody should get for delivering for Whole Foods. And so it's not like delivering a pizza or anything like that. And... Because the, the people that deliver for Whole Foods are not staying in the general vicinity that often. I mean, it happens, 
but generally in a you know when you grab those two hour shifts um you're looking at anywhere from like at least from your house to whole foods and then doing the deliveries and back to your house i mean you're looking at driving sometimes close to 100 miles in a short period of time so and depending on what kind of vehicle you have you know that could be almost uh half your gas tank right there you know for just a two-hour shift it's crazy so um the the minimum i would always say that i would suggest for anybody receiving a whole foods uh delivery the minimum the bare minimum is five dollars that's the absolute bare minimum because some of these drivers and in my experience personally have driven um jesus man going out 30 you know going out 30 miles in the middle of traffic to go deliver a couple packages to somewhere you know in the middle of nowhere or just because um you know it's it's just like on the edge of where that whole foods um facility uh delivers to so i've definitely driven close to you know, starting from a Whole Foods and then going 30 miles out to somewhere and then it taking me, you know, 40, you know, 40 plus minutes to get back home. So really even more depending on uh, what time of day it is. So um, I would always have that into, um, always put that into consideration as far as delivering, as far as um, leaving a, someone who's delivering, uh, your groceries to you always have that always have that um, into consideration of how much driving they're actually doing because I've delivered the places for Whole Foods and they go oh man that's a quick stop there's one right down the street and I would just say no actually I'm coming from this location uh, this the Whole Foods <laughs> the Whole Foods across the street from you they don't do this <laughs> so we actually there's only a select few in the area that do it and you're on the you're on the border so um but yeah mi minimum five bucks definitely no question and uh if you're doing if you are ordering from whole foods like i said it's not you're not we're not delivering pizzas and not that delivering for whole foods is super difficult it's just a lot of time that can be involved in it that's all uh, you're delivering pizzas, you're just going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth all the time. And I've done that in the past, too. So, and you would be, you know, astounded if somebody gave you a $5 tip, um, you know, for going two miles. <laughs> We're here, you know, you, the first stop might be um, a couple miles, at least, you know, it's usually roughly 10 miles, typically. Um is your first trip and then they just kind of gradually take you out and take you further and further so um yeah don't be uh don't be a cheapskate and um you know and not tip definitely never never not tip <laughs> don't ever not tip anybody I th like the rule of thumb is like even when this is just for me when anybody is providing some kind of delivery service the absolute minimum tip that they're going to receive is five dollars i don't even care if it's pizza delivery or what it is chinese food uh it's always it's the minimum is five dollars absolutely so and if if uh, yeah, if i was actually on the border i would probably tip i would tip them more as well i would say okay well you know you're kind of not in the region but we'll still deliver to you or, or you're on the cusp so you know we'll deliver to you then that delivery driver is going to get hooked up so but and this is just talking about dry you know um for delivery services i'm not talking about uh you know any other services as far as being tipped i just try to uh, do it to the just try to tip to the best of my ability and what I feel comfortable with and what I feel that that individual deserves. So typically when you're delivering for, um, when you're delivering grocery, groceries for people, uh, there's a lot of times that they don't even see you. So uh, as long as they're, 
they're there and they're safe and all that good stuff, then, you know, get, I would always, always recommend a decent, like I said, the absolute minimum is five bucks, but I've had, I've had people give me 20 and I've had people get, have given me zero. So, you know, it happens. So drivers don't expect it. Uh, but the people that are ordering, um, I would say if you want to have, um, you know, a decent delivery, you don't, you don't ever want to be known as that location, as that house that doesn't tip. So, and I'm not saying like, that I would personally ever do anything to anybody's food or anything like that, but I've been to the same, I've delivered to the same place, places, um, multiple times. So, and I can, I have a, a rough idea of who, you know, who tips pretty decent and who doesn't. That's just when you're doing it through, um, when you're doing it through, uh, the Amazon Flex app, it just shows you, um, it won't show you which individual tip this and that. It'll just give you the, the summary from that shift, but, um. But usually you can remember where you were at and so forth. And you go, oh, it was that, it was that guy, oh, it was that lady, huh? Hmm. Okay. Okay. I'll wait till we go back there. But <laughs> I would, like I said, I would never personally do anything like that. But I could see people doing that. So start kicking your groceries in and so forth. <laughs> but that's not that's not a reason <coughs> to not tip somebody well. So I think you tip well because you're getting a, a premium service. So you, you are getting an excellent value and, and the convenience is just amazing. So, um, and the, 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 the regular prices are actually, uh, are great value. And then just throwing a couple extra bucks for the, uh, for the delivery driver, you know, really isn't that bad. So for you to stay at home and get your groceries delivered to you in two in like a guaranteed two hour window, come on now. So uh, I'm just pretending to be uh, dramatic about it. So it is what it is, and whatever happens happens. But um, yeah, minimum. So Lyft and Uber, you know, all the drive, uh, all the driving services. You know, minimum one dollar if you're going a short distance, and then a minimum five dollars if you're going, you know, more than I would say at least ten miles plus, you know, at least five bucks. Jeez. So, um, yeah, and then flex minimum would be five, and the maximum, however, um, as charitable as you are feeling. So, but min minimum five bucks. Definitely a minimum of five bucks. So um, help help keep some of these people's spirits up. <laughs> so all right, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, another random video will be uh, I will 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 be released soon. I will release soon. And I just really I don't know why this just came into my head and I figured I'd just make this video. So uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. And check out PolioJr.net. That's Paul I O J R dot net, where they, ah, where, where they, it's me who created the site, uh, have all these pretty cool exclusive offers just for Polio Junior viewers, like uh, like 30 days free of Amazon Prime, and uh, even Lyft sign-on bonuses, and uh, some other discounts and so forth. Whole bunch of good stuff. So. Um, yeah. Okay. That's it. I'm done talking. See you in the next one. Later.